WEFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time. Let's go to a Bill in Boca Raton. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Not too much. Enjoying the warm weather in Florida just like you, except on the other coast. Perfect, man. Perfect. Yep. Do you listen on the Internet right now? Yes. Cool, man. Cool. No, I, I enjoy that. That's in your Tiger TV and everything. I've been watching you for years, and you've really taken this whole programming to a level that's just phenomenal. I appreciate it. And now, here's Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go two hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF Friday, folks. Let's make it an outstanding one. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow down 62, NASDAQ off 12, S&P's off 10, gold contract up $12.90, trading at 1,543 an ounce. Silver up 17 cents at $36.71 an ounce. Platinum down 5 at 1,735 an ounce. Copper off four and a half pennies at four thirty nine a pound. Late sweet crude down two dollars and thirty four cents, trading out at ninety six dollars and thirty three cents a barrel. Bonds up a point and a half, trading out at one hundred and twenty four point twenty six. Dollar index up seventeen ticks at seventy five forty three. Euro down ten at one forty two, and the yen off sixty three at eighty point six two. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Okay. S&P, from highs to lows. We go right back to the 2nd of May. 2nd of May, we were at 1370, cash S&P. We came down 112 points. We go all the way back topside yesterday to 1356. Now, that little baby was over the high volume 1345.20. That's May 31st. That's what we did, $1.5 billion. It pushed over that yesterday with $843 million. What do we do today? Today would end up happening. Jobs number come out this morning. Futures went down a quick 18 points. Bottom line, we pulled back 9 points. Now, this is where it's going to get really interesting. This is what we did. You pull back on 9 points. We did $771 million versus the 843 now, does it matter? Yeah, it absolutely matters, and this is why. It doesn't matter what's a Friday. It doesn't matter what's going on. Because what you have here is that you did, we did pull back on light of volume today. Now, that's, I'm going to go through these on the dailies, and I'm going to go through these on the weekly so you can see what's going on. So that's the S&P on the daily. We go to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials, same setup. The Dow hit a high yesterday of 12,753 you pull back in today to the 12,567 you close out at 12,657 which is nothing okay bottom line you're down a few points the Nasdaq composite now let's go over to the composite take a look at the composite what the Nasdaq composite did is this Nasdaq composite yesterday well first off the high that we have up there is the 2887 that high was the generated on on the second of May? We go straight down to six uh, uh, twenty five ninety nine. The composite yesterday gets over the twenty eight thirty five level. That is where we did two point five billion. We did one point eight. What do we do today? You pull back with one point six. Okay, so now we're going to go into the weeklies, and this is why you'll see how this thing is set up now. So dailies, you go up with no volume, we pull back with no volume today. Well, we're at the end of the week, so you got to do the weeklies. First, let's go to the SPY. Now, what we have with the SPY is this. When you put this up in a weekly, what you're going to see is that the week of the May 6th, we did 
900 million, 898 million to be exact. Okay? We did last week 100, uh, 1 billion. This week, what we end up doing is this. We did 666 million, but what you have to do with that number, folks, is that you have to take that number, and because we had uh, 666 divided by 4 times 5, Oops, one second. 666. Okay, that number is 832. The reason that number is 832 is that this was a four-day work week. So when you're comparing apples to apples, in this particular case we're comparing the SPY to the SPY for a full week, we are pushing in with 832 million versus 800. And 98 million. That's one comparison. The second one goes like this. And this is where this gets really close. Okay, so what we did is this. We got into the highs, and we did that with 60 million, which which is not, you know, that's not bad, folks. That's, that's like 6%. We got over the high of the June 3rd area with just about the same. Amount where well, that that was you speculated at 833 million there versus 832. Now you failed it. You failed. So on a short term basis, when 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 I'm looking at this, it's like, okay, man, do you want to go try to bang into that uh, 134.88 again today? Yeah, I can. And we did 135.35 today. So we'll see whether it's going to try to bang into that up there. That's on your spy. Now let's go to the four Q, the three Qs. This is where this gets real interesting on the three Qs, and this is what it is. The three Qs made a huge comeback. We came down, we're only down 16 cents on the three Qs. However, what happened is that you actually were pushing into a lower swing, and you were pushing in with heavier volume. We got, when we got down to a price point today of 58.37, we had 66 million shares traded, Versus 54 yesterday versus pushing into a 47 million swing. Now that's on the daily. Okay, that's so that says on the daily you're going to go back downtown. Now let's put it on the weekly. So on a weekly, what we have is this. On the weekly, we went to a price point of 59.36. 59.36 took us over the 59.34, which was the highs of May. The highs of May, we did 284 million. We did 213, so 213 would end up being 266. So your correlation is 266 to 284. Now that's a close correlation. I don't like them that close. I like to see something dramatic. It's still a failure, but when you're talking 20 million, I don't even pay attention to it. So what is that saying? Well, it's saying on the daily basis, you're going to be back down. On the weekly basis, it's a toss-up. Now, let's go over to the Dow Industrials, and we use the diamonds. This is where this gets really wild, because the diamonds, what, the, what you have with the diamonds is this. The diamonds had made a high out there with 10 million shares. We tested that yesterday with four. We came to the down today with five. That's on your daily. On your weekly, what you have, and it's dramatic, and you know what's so cool about this, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second, is that on the weekly, we had... 47 million shares traded versus 25, and what 25 ends up doing is being 31. So you get 31 versus 47. That's the kind of correlations I like to see. Now, when I put that together, that's saying to me flat out that, no, we're going back down town to the March 16th levels, and this is why. When you look at the market, the Dow itself has retraced the least amount. Yet, inside the ETF structure, you can see what the diamonds have done. And the Dow itself is the most deceiving. Why? Because what you have inside the Dow is only 30 stocks. Now, let's go over to the dollar index. Okay, so, so the dollar index, folks, the way this shook out today, bottom line, is that you get a bad jobs number. And by the way, what ends up happening with the jobs number is this. They were looking for... A, the consensus was 105,000 jobs that come in with 18,000 jobs. Uh, if, you, if there's a number that you, uh, or a report that you want to pay attention to, it is the challenger report that comes out 
the Wednesday prior to the Friday jobs report. The challenge, now see the ADP report, folks, that report is predicated on who uses that service. That, that has always been the big report. You know, that came out yesterday. That report pushed the market up. Challenger report, people have, have, haven't paid attention to it. Bottom line, that Challenger report is more accurate than, and has been more accurate for quite a while. And I'm when I say quite a while, I've been following for about maybe two, two and a half, not maybe two, two years easy. Bottom line is that what happened in that report is that the Challenger report was saying we have been losing jobs for the second month straight. Losing them. Never mind gain. He was saying flat out, listen, this is the second month we're losing them. He's, he's the guy, he's been right. That's the bottom line. We go and we look at the dollar, and this is where you can see where the dollar is so strong. If, in fact, well, we know that we're losing jobs and we don't have jobs, but you know what? The dollar still wants to go higher. It's going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. Let's go to Tom in Tampa. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, Tommy, what's happening? How you doing, man? All right. You ready for that weekend? Yeah, absolutely, man. We, 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 well, we need a few uh, Obie's Ox down here. We get so much rain, folks, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's just pouring. It's unbelievable. It's been pouring, folks, since uh, the middle. Well, actually, it's been pouring about since 0600 this morning. So it's no doubt. It, well, hey, you know what? It, it's good. That's good. Yeah, it's all good. That's right. That's right. Hey, Tommy, uh, by the way, heck of a call there on Goog about three weeks ago. It was at 470. You said it was heading to 530, and it did. Uh, so I just wanted to congratulate you on that call. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, can we take a look at TZA? TZA, okay. So let's take a look at it. We, and this is good because I didn't do the small caps yet. So let's take a look at it. Now, TZA, folks, is the direction bear 300% inverse correlation to the Russell 2000. Um if you'd like to understand how these direction shares work, folks, come over to our website at TFNN, and you're going to see right under ETF, there's three white papers, and please do this, okay, because the papers are great, number one. They explain how they compound on the way up, they get defensive on the way down, and they're daily investment vehicles. Now, I'm going to go to the IWM, and we'll do the whole IWM first. The reason we're doing the IWM, folks, is that it's just a one-to-one -one correlation. It has been traded longer, and, you know, a few years from now, yeah, we'll be able to do the TZA on a continual basis because it's been traded so long. So if we do the IWM, this is what you have. The IWM, first off, the May high, May 2nd. It comes off that high with 48 million. The top of that is 86.81. It went into 85.97 yesterday with 68 million. So you get the correlation is that 60... 8 million coming into that on a daily with 48 million. Hey, you stay right there, folks. We are going to go through this on the daily, weekly, and then I'm going to do a monthly on this because I want to show you something on the small caps. Listen, folks, don't forget, the month of July, if you buy Tiger Dollars, uh, that it can be used anywhere on, T on uh, TFNN, you will be at my workshop, a five-hour webinar, live when the markets are open for absolutely zero dollars. We're going to be right back. X Story 